This video tutorial covers the Outdoor Living Spatial Lab, which focuses on matching promotion and segmentation strategies in an advertising campaign in Florida. The tutorial covers the importance of matching promotion and segmentation strategies. It provides a summary of the outdoor living scenario. It describes the process of accessing and opening the Spatial Lab in Microsoft Word, following the steps of the Spatial Tutorial and preparing the answers that you have to submit to your instructor uh, for that tutorial. Matching promotional segmentation is one of the most significant portions of marketing strategy and it allows your promotion effort to reach households that are most likely to respond favorably. It enables you to deliver specifically targeted messages which are designed for uh, the needs and product uses of those segments and identifies the best targets for each element of the campaign and those might be different between media campaign, direct mail, and outdoor shows. It aligns the promotional efforts with the objectives of the overall marketing strategy. Business GIS tools can contribute to this process by showing distributions of target market households across the market area, using appropriate geographies for each element of the campaign, counties for promotional media promotion, for example, and zip codes for direct mail, assessing the spatial dimension of promotional decisions so you can see the distribution, the physical distribution of your promotional effort, and displaying the reach of the promotional effort visually and spatially. In the outdoor living scenario, this firm is a recreational equipment manufacturer which specializes in camping equipment. Its newest product, called the Conestoga, is a well-equipped modular camper that's mounted on a small trailer. Uh, it's very well equipped and it's aimed at young middle-income families who are new to camping, trying to get them started in, the, in, in that recreational activity. The promotional campaign for the brand will include media advertising, uh, a direct mail effort, uh, and outdoor show exhibits as well. The sales manager for the southeastern United States wants to target those efforts in the state of Florida by identifying the 10 counties with the most families in the target market for the media portion of the campaign, identifying zip codes with the highest percentage of families in the target market with no more than 750,000 households for the direct mail campaign, and selecting four retail stores in the Tampa area which sponsor outdoor shows that are good targets for exhibits. Uh, she has retained you as the business GIS consultant to perform these tasks and provide reports. This spatial lab is accessed using a map that's available in the ArcGIS and RacerGIS online uh, facilities. When you open that map, uh, you will see only the click on a map to open an instructions box layer ready to go. If you click inside the map, you will receive instructions on how to download the spatial lab itself and open it in Microsoft Word. This visual shows you what that map looks like. Uh, and how you get to those instructions for opening the spatial lab. It also shows you a link uh, for allowing you to return to this video tutorial should you need to do that. Once you have opened the lab and started to, to work on the, the steps of the spatial lab, you will use those steps to explore the distribution of target households and camping equipment purchases in the state of Florida. You'll identify the 10 most populous counties for the media campaign, the most appropriate zip codes for the direct mail campaign, and the optimal set of four stores for outdoor shows in the Tampa area. Let's take a look at the Spatial Lab itself as we go through that process. The Spatial Lab begins by introducing you to the outdoor living scenario in a little bit more detail. It provides an overview of the data that's available to you in the data sets for the campaign and gives you some idea about how long it's anticipated will take you to complete this activity. It then describes the specific activities that you have performed, and you begin by opening the map, identifying some characteristics of the Florida market as a whole, uh, and then identifying the 10 households or the 10 counties with the largest number of target market households in the state of Florida, and determining the number of households and family households uh, in those counties who will be exposed to the campaign. You will use that information to answer the first two questions uh, in the report. You will then turn your attention to the direct mail campaign and focus on zip codes, which are clearly going to be used in the mail campaign. And now you're looking for the highest percentage of families in the target market so that you can have the highest percentage uh, return rate as possible for the direct mail campaign. Uh, you will identify those and report some information about the number of families that are involved the percentage of tar those families in the target market, households, uh, and the um, 
total RV expenditures for those families. And then finally, you'll turn your attention to the outdoor and recreational shows in the Tampa area. Uh, you will look at some, some information uh, in the map on the number of target market households related to stores with outdoor shows, and you will select for that are uh, specially distributed, but also located very close to concentrations of target market households. The selection you see here is a poor one. You will improve that performance uh, and list those, the addresses of those for your instructor. Uh, when you're finished with that, you'll answer those questions in this report template. Uh, cut and paste that template into a Word document uh, and send it to your instructor. So the written report that you submit will consist of 10 counties for the media promotion uh, and the reasons for selecting them, a list of, count of zip codes for the direct mail campaign and your reason for selecting them, the four stores that you recommended for the outdoor shows in the Tampa area, and then finally you will submit those answers in a report to your instructor as you have been directed to do. And that completes this video tutorial on the Outdoor Living Spatial Lab. Good luck as you complete this project.